for grand to subscribe. <laughs>
and um, you're not in any sort of a little bit, bit of a relationship then and she's sexualizing she's doing that to manipulate you or to play games with you some women just do that to see if they how far they can push you and play games with your mind it's fun to some women well, anyway so I saw this text thread and they were getting overtly sexual she was saying oh I need you to come around to my place and they all organized the date and um, all this stuff the, 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 the thread was way too sexual and then he turns up at her place and it was the wrong address she played him she made him turn up to the wrong place she just was pulling his strings and playing him like a puppet over overly sexualizing and afterwards she texted him and goes look don't don't treat women basically you know a little bit more of a sly you know way she basically was saying don't treat women like objects and I could tell that this was going to happen because it was too overtly sexual um, she was above his mate value she was uh, around 10 years younger than him uh, relatively attractive a little bit more attractive than him I would say and so if you are punching up you have to build rapport it has to be some sort of an emotional connection you have to get her on a more of an emotional way more than a sexual way if you're punching down sure if you're a super good looking dude and you're getting you're you're an eight and you're getting fives do whatever you want because they just like you because you're you're way more attractive than them they're just happy to have you. You're going to get away with a lot more. You pick your nose on the date. You could probably chew with your mouth open. Uh, you could probably throw up on the table. She'll still go home with you. But if you're actually using game and you're punching up, then you can't use sexual uh, any anything sexual to build any sort of connection with her. It has to be an emotional connection with her. Um, that's basically the lesson I'm talking about today. Um, uh, and I, I think that it's something that I have seen quite a lot, guys, seeing the, the false flags, like seeing the false signs that she's attracted. Um, it all, it all, it, it's even in the, the cold approach as well. A lot of guys, they will spike, 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 spike. She starts giggling. They, they think that that's a sign that she's attracted um, when it's not necessarily not always and um, they see these false signs but keep in mind there's a lot of malevolent women out there that will play games with you they will manipulate you and if she's initiating some sort of a sexual conversation be mindful of that recently I had a girl um, that I slept with and she was like I want you to F me I want you to do this to me I was like stop it stop it um, because I didn't whether she was trying to play with me in that moment, I know that she's way above my mate value. She's about 20 years younger than me, and that can then turn into manipulation of me in the future, whether it is happening right now, um, it might happen in the future. So that's kind of my thoughts for today. Be mindful of that, and um, hopefully that's been helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video.